Hello, I'm Rob with a B. You can call me Blob. It's a lovely day on the low fast and the breeze and the trees and the birds are singing. And I'm just relaxing. And this is 100 fire and one. Hello, I'm Rob with a B and this is 101 ways to make fire. A lot of people have told me they, they get an ember very easily, but they struggle to blow the ember into flame. So today I'm going to show you a way of doing this that requires no breath at all. But first we're going to go and hunt some grass. So we have a little ball of grass cuttings. It's not particularly dry, in fact it's still quite damp to the touch. And it's still green, as you can see, hopefully. But that is going to be our smold. Might be a word I made up. So normally, when you see people trying to start a fire from an ember, they'll be doing that sort of thing, blowing onto it. Is that what they call a blowjob? Now, the concentration of the Earth's atmosphere is about 78% uh, nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and another 1% uh, other gases are gone most but as far as combustion is concerned we're interested in that 21 percent oxygen as we breathe gases are exchanged in our lungs about four five percent of the oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide which is produced as a result of the processes in our body so the air we exhale only has about 16% oxygen. Now, when we're trying to heat up our tinder bundle to its ignition temperature, we're relying on the chemical reaction of the smold, of that little smoldering heart of the tinder bundle. And all other things being equal, the temperature of our smold is dependent on the amount of oxygen we can get to it. The other problem with breath is that it contains a significant amount of water vapor. In fact, the processes of combustion and respiration are chemically quite similar. You know what's the best diet in the world? The sleeping diet. In eight hours, you're going to lose about half a kilogram. How does that work? Sure, you might have sweated out a cup of water, but most of that mass is leaving your body as water vapor in the breath. And as most of you probably know, water is not the friend of fire. So in this episode of Lazy Survivor, I'm going to show you how to let nature work for you. Now we need an ember. And for that, I'm going to use this. <laughs> Actually, what I'm going to use is that. If you know how to look, lenses are everywhere. But enough talking. Let us make fire. Groovy, eh? <laughs> so we have our wine glass. And there we have a little piece of tinder fungus. And we have a lot of smoke. And that's a mini unga bunga moment. Gonna drop our little piece of tinder fungus into our ball of smold and then yeah we have some other grass longer more fibrous we're going to put that ball into there crunch it up into a little handle below us waiting waiting on your marks get set and we have fire and my hands are getting warm and that's what the hairs on your knuckle look like. 